forgot, and I'm very sorry for that. We also have a special guest here, Zbigniew Mieczkowski, who is a soldier of uh, General Maciek. And I have a military question, which uh, I'll, get, I'll get to. But on the issue of, um, on, of discrimination, uh, what Dan Domoyski didn't have a chance to, to read, because it's a quite long research, but there was a, uh, um, a survey done in a, in a school uh, and 66% of the students there said that they didn't know that Poland was uh, allied. Well, it's UK adults. Yeah. Well, it's in even Europe. worse. It's UK adults. They didn't know that yeah. Poland it was uh, um, allied to Britain, and they thought that Poland, the Polish government was cooperating with the Nazis during the Second World War. So with this yeah. kind of sound of that terrible situation, the discrimination <coughs> can grow. My question is very uh, uh, quick. Uh, it's a basically a yes or no uh, question. Um, because of what's happening um, in Ukraine and the possible threat that uh, could be brought to closer to the European borders, um, would you support uh, the creation of a European uh, Common Army? And who's that to um, you? Pretty much everybody, but okay. it's just a yes or no. A no. Andy? I think that's involved in NATO. <laughs> well, James? not really. really. <laughs> not so well, no. no. No, we leave that to NATO. Yes, but not to no. Britain. <laughs> <laughs> no, we did the most successful partnership we've ever had, NATO. Is there a future for in the UK? Yeah. Roger. Okay. 